All right, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Ronan Dave, part four of the Yanaka Craft Beer series, where we've been talking about craft beer of Yanaka, uh, history of Tokyo and Yanaka, and mm. just whatever. Look at all this. Bashing head. Canadians when we can, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of head on this beer, by the way. Yeah, we talked about that in Drew's video, yeah. the, the amount of head on a given beer. We are on beer number four. Yep, This, this is, is the this Yanaka is Bitter. Yanaka uh, Bitter. Yanaka Bitter, 5.8% with an IBU of 40. That's a pretty high now, IBU. For okay. okay, so what's your I've opinion? I've got to ask this oh. after four beers. Sorry. Yeah. What is IBU? Sorry. <laughs> It actually, that's actually a good question. Yeah. IBU stands for International Bitterness Unit. So I'm looking at two cameras at the <laughs> same time while I see this. So. All right, well, this is my video, so look at my video. Okay, I don't know <laughs> why, I don't know why it's called, uh, I don't know what it's based off of, but it's, um, it's just, it's a measurement that beer makers around the world agreed on mm. in terms of how bitter the beer is. So the higher the number, of course, the more bitter the beer. Yeah. So, yeah. I had a, I had a beer that was 200 IBU. <laughs> Jeez. And there was it was dry hopped, and that's what made it really bitter. And because it was dry hopped, it was basically like little hops, like little tiny hop, like leaves, oh, like wow. microscopic that were just floating in the beer. And I'm the, surprised wow. at that at that level yeah. of hops, like it wasn't just dirt or something. Right. <laughs> yeah. Just, a, it, it just a, a glass of dirt. It was a great beer. It was, it was the uh, Jackhammer IPA from okay. Brewdog. Oh, well, we got ten yeah. minutes, gentlemen. Yes. All right. So let's start off our first. Taste right. of the Yanaka, Yanaka bitter. bitter. Okay. Come by. And that damn fly is around. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. 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 You know, it doesn't, you know, a word like Ooh. bitter, it doesn't seem bitter at all. <laughs> mm. Not at all. No, that's a nice taste. Actually, that, uh, the finish, holy mm. crap, the finish is really good. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's, what, what, what do you think? I like this better than the actual golden. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a bolder flavor. Yeah. Yeah, that's obviously the thing. It's, really it's, it's more bitter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this, I would say, is a slow drinking beer. Yes. Yes. yes Which is kind of ironic because we're supposed to get out here. I know. We got 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> parties coming in. I did not know that, but. Um, yeah, I saw the sign uh, yeah. on the front door there. But this this is, uh, once again, I have to say, this is a, just a really cool building. Yeah. Built back in 1938. And th this, we're on the outside area. And our table actually used to be like a folding door. Yeah, right. It's just so it yeah. is so neat. Yeah. Now cool. Let's let's talk a little bit about Yanaka itself. Like, what do you like about the Yanaka area? You were I visit the Yanaka Ginza Strip. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say because I don't. I live quite close to here. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm always looking for traditional. Um, and this is the place to be. Yeah. Japanese. It's about as like, traditional as it we gets. all live. All three of us live in the cement city of Tokyo. Yeah. But. To find actual nice, I'm, everybody knows me, I'm into architecture, but to find like old buildings like this that are still preserved, to find yeah. areas that are yeah. still preserved. So, Yanaka, Ginza, you know, it's a high tourist area. Mm -hmm. um, but well, it's funny, I used to consider it off the beaten track. Yeah, but it, it still is. It is off the oh, beaten okay. track. Okay, but, sure. but there's a lot more now, though. <laughs> but a lot of the tourists that come here are from out of town, though, that's the thing. Exactly, not, not out right? of the country, like just out of, they're Japanese tourists. Oh, I see, yeah. No, absolutely. But Yanaka, Ginza gives you a bit of modern, mm -hmm. yet mm -hmm. uh, old school, Japanese, whatever you want to call it. I go, like, they have this yakitori place. Mm. It has freaking scotch eggs. <laughs> you had to explain it to me very quickly. What is that? A scotch egg? Yeah. It's a boil. It's a hard boiled egg uh -huh. inside batter, and deep fried. Oh, huh. that's really good. Yeah. And if you use like uh, katsu sauce mm. kind of thing, oh my god! You never had a scotch egg? Never. Oh, you gotta get one. They have yakitori. They have karaoke. Mm. And it, like, it's at. Old school prices. Mm. A buck. Mm. Damn, it's also a hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is like walking back in time. It in really is. Area, yeah. I went there once, and like, this is my second time in this part of town. It's just, it's so beautiful. What I like is there's so many. Uh, the, the, one of the reasons why this area is the way it is because there's a lot of temples in this area. They were built yeah. here as kind of. There's the both, cemetery up the hill there. Yeah, too. they're both spiritual defense and also just practical defense because temples are kind of built like right? touristic mm -hmm. areas with their walls and all that but yeah there's like I was reading 
there's like about in the, this whole kind of Yana Sen area, Yan Yana Sen uh, area. There's like over a hundred temples. Right. I mean, a lot. I mean, they're not like huge, impressive temples. Well, like might one see of the most too. famous ones is Nezu Shrine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nezu Shrine is an amazing yeah. area. Yeah. Still preserved to this day. Mm. It is yeah, it actually it it's survived it, it it survived the earthquake and the war, right? And all the fires that used to a good exactly, chunk right? of this part of yeah. town survived mm -hmm. World War Two. You know, Tokyo was on fire during World War Two. Tokyo was on fire during the but big not earthquake. in a good way. Mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, that's true. Yeah, yeah like it was uh, horrible. The um, the yeah the earthquake, uh, and you said there was an earthquake here earlier. Yeah, there was a brief quake. Just yeah, Dave was on the train. I was walking, didn't feel it. Yeah, yeah I was sitting here. These windows were like, <laughs> like that. I was like, whoa. The 1923 earthquake, mo more people actually died from the subsequent fires than yeah, the actual Yeah, no, exactly yeah. right. Yeah. People yeah. got stuck on the pavement. And like a lot of these areas, like this, um, a lot of these areas went up in flames back yeah. in the Edo period. I mean, it's a it, wooden building. Yeah, and they were. it was often called the Flowers of Edo, was the name of the fires. Yeah, they had like, they had like something like, uh, I think like a thousand fires or something in a 200 year period. Damn it. Yeah, small ones, big ones, but yeah, they like they yeah, would burn out whole it. sections. I don't like it. Well, that's why you. most of the buildings you see today are just black, yeah. concrete. If you come to Yanaka, definitely check out, like, there's so many, like, small little temples just to pop in and out of. And a lot of them do have some kind of historical basis. Like, there's one around here, the abbot of that temple. He, I think he was brothers to two of the men that were in the 47 Ronin. Holy shit. Yeah. They, they went to this temple here when they were laying low, planning on their attack. And if you don't know the 47 Ronin, I'll give you a quick history. 47 Ronin, uh, 1701 in Edo Castle. Mm -hmm. The Lord of Akko, which is now Hyogo Prefecture, got tired of being insulted by the master of court ceremonies, attacked him, had to commit seppuku. All of his Ronin, uh, all of his samurai became Ronin, which means masterless samurai. Right. right. And they plotted revenge against him, and over time, some of them came into Edo incognito and hid around these areas, and that temple was one of the places where two of them, I think, would sometimes go to. Huh. And then in 17, uh, December 1702, they attacked uh, the master of ceremonies and killed him to avenge their master. Damn. And if you ever watch the Keanu Reeves 47 Ronin, I was just gonna it, say. <laughs> it is in no, uh, is hardly any recognition with the actual story. Right, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I watched the movie and kind of <laughs> oh, a little geez. bit about the Ronin, but... The movie is like so way off. Yeah. It's not good yeah. at all. No, <laughs> yeah, no they were trying to—they right? were trying to like mix *Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon* with *Harry Potter* and *Lord of the Rings*. Yeah, pretty much, right? Like, just smash exactly, it in. Exactly. Like, so I did—I did a video review a couple years back on it, and uh, after watching it drunk, and it was just—it uh, was such. A, I, I recommend it just as a bizarre film cultural experience. Right, if yeah, you right. know the story of Forty Seven Ronin, watch that movie and just be amazed by how off they are on there. They probably don't even mention the Shitamachi area. No. no yeah. Man. Well, we gotta wrap it up. We're about to get kicked out of here. Yep. Get, get, get that beer down. Yeah, yeah okay. right? Like, yeah. The, Dave and I are like right yeah. around here. Okay, Jesus. the first beer I finished in like a minute. Yeah. <laughs> the third beer I finished in a minute. Now this one, I'm just taking forever because bitters. I, I, yeah, bitters uh, is a hard beer to drink fast. Yeah, that is true. Like, if we didn't have to be out of here so quickly, we would take our we would take it's more a time. Yeah. Some time, right? Oh, yeah. God, this, is, this is a good beer to take your time with. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, right? I have no. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> All right, my chair is breaking. Guys, let's okay, finish wait, wait, it up. Wait, uh, let, let's let him finish it one up. One more gulp. Yeah. Come on, Zach, and then finish it up. Let's go. Come on, boy. Right, come on, just boy. One, come one, on, one more on. gulp, and then we'll all do it. Ah, uh, fuck it. Somebody, okay. some old guy's coming in now. Okay. All right, guys. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's take our final final drink. Okay. That was awesome. All right. Okay, quick oh, final shit. verdict. Final verdict. Um, again, a sipping beer. Uh, mm -hmm. It is a bit, bit more bitter than I thought. Mm. Yep. Carbonation is good. Um, it's something I probably wouldn't drink every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and going through the four videos that we have, 
I still say the Yanaka beer. Yeah, yeah. very first beer. Yeah, the very first beer was probably the best. Yeah. Yanaka beer was the best one you could drink any day. Any day. Yeah. But, uh, but like a bitter is a special beer that I would that's say true. for a special day. Mm. Especially winter. Winter. Yeah, would that's be a when day these are on. usually drank. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, this would be a good Christmas beer. This yeah, be yeah, absolutely. Right. This should be a good Christmas beer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was like trying to fight down a burp. But yeah, this would be a good Christmas beer. Yeah. A yeah. slow drinking <laughs> beer, agree. which we didn't have, had to do. But anyway, yeah, the. And then to say about the Yanaka area, uh, just a wonderful like little neighborhood area. Oh, it's you're in the heart of, of you're in the heart of Tokyo, but it doesn't seem like you're. You here. don't it's feel just, like it at all. Yeah, it's yeah. not so loud. This Yanaka Beer Hall is just awesome. This place yeah. is amazing. Yeah, the, the, this place is just yeah incredible. And so I'm glad we came here. To just search it Yanaka yeah. Beer Hall, and then if you want to get more, there's two of them. Yeah. There's two of them. The reason why we went to this one is because this had four of the Yanaka craft beers. Yeah. The other one only has two. And this is actually in Yanaka as well. Thank so, you guys for watching. This is Ronan Day with Tokyo Drew. Phoenix787. Yes. Dreamliner. Like I said, hope you learned something. See you. Okay. I finished the beer. God damn it. Okay, so this is a post beer at, uh, in Yanaka Ginza, the shopping district. Yep. We're doing like the old mom and pop alcohol shops they used to have before the convenience stores all took over and took away all that local culture. Right. People sitting on plastic crates and just drinking beer, cheap beer. There's a woman over here eating that yeah. Like seriously. Yeah. <laughs> plastic crates. Yeah. This is the thing like salarymen in the uh, 60s, 70s and 80s would do. You know, get their bit of yakitori and a beer. Yep. After work, before, Absolutely right. before going home. I just like how it brings you back to the old days, you know? It keeps it keeps it real. I come here every weekend almost, because uh, I go shop at the place over there. Um, I like the fact that it's still kept its nature, its mm -hmm. charm. Um, and a lot of the architecture, which I love about Japan, mm. it's kept. Yeah. And it, it's just like a, how do I say this? Like you feel as like you're a part of being the local community mm. coming here, whether you're yeah. visiting, whether you live here. Yeah, you don't you feel still, like an outsider. No, here. not at all, right? And this doesn't feel like a tourist a tourist. Trap. <laughs> yeah. It's not a tourist trap. Like a sock set. A tourist area, yeah. but not a tourist trap. Alright, so this is Ronan Day. I've had a lot of beer. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> See you. See you.